Hello, what's up you all? I'm Kyle Michael, and this is going to be a very special lecture that's going to um, take a minute of motivation that I did and expound upon that a little more in more detail, okay? So in the uh, minute of motivation that I'm gonna to refer to, the topic and the thought was what you look for, you shall find. Let me say that again. What you look for, you shall find. And so, like I do with these talks, I like to uh, to speak and, and, and like we're having a conversation, conversation with Kyle style. <laughs> and um, what really hit me is that in life, in, in every aspect, it really does seem that the things that we look for, we shall find in many ways, but you have to be very, uh, you have to be get very honest and deep about what it is that you're actually looking for. Uh, so it's kind of funny how um, the thought really came to me, right? And I'll go ahead and uh, tell you about it. So I, I, you know, I have some um, guilty pleasures and a lot of those uh, are food related. I like uh, good food. And I have a incredible wing recipe, right? I make very good wings. <laughs> I like them. And either way, I'm also, I've also been on a strict uh, workout regimen that I've put myself, putting myself through. I could be even more strict, which I will be doing, as I think the thought, I know that's what I need to look for, but I've still been on it. And my diet has been a little cleaner, but when it comes to certain guilty pleasures, you know, I, I take part in it. But on this occasion, I'm making wings and I look up on the internet, on Google, I type in, are wings good for you? Or wings are actually good for you. I type that in, right? And lo and behold, I find a few articles explaining that wings are actually pretty good for you, or at least not that bad. But then it hit me, you know what? I'm sure I could type in just about anything that way and I will find <laughs> what it is that I'm looking for, right? And then the thought went a little bit deeper and I realized that a lot of times in life when it comes to especially philosophies and beliefs and truths that we hold in our mind, oftentimes we are looking for information to back up our, what we already believe or what we want to believe. So if you want to believe a certain uh, philosophy or a certain thought, no matter what that may be, and you're searching for validation, chances are you're going to find it. But it doesn't necessarily make that thing true overall and doesn't even make it necessarily the best philosophy for you. Uh, that's why it's incredibly important one to release and let go of a lot of things and not to be attached to any thought process um, unless it's a truly good positive process. You know? But realize that, realizing that just because we have a belief and, and, and we, we try to validate it. And the source that's validating it, we can find the other side as well. I could easily guarantee you type in wings are bad for you and I'm going to find uh, uh, just as many articles, probably even a little more because I know they're not the healthiest. But either way, <laughs> uh, that was, you know, just, you know, it, it, it's very simple, wings, right? But it, it's funny how the little things in life can make us think about things deeper. Everything's connected, even the little to the big. It's funny how it works. But now to kind of go deeper into the thought of what you look for, you shall find. And when it comes to life, when it comes to wanting to reach a certain level, a certain goal, right? Ascension, to ascend, to move higher. And life is about growing. 
Life is about growth. And it's about ascending spiritually, emotionally, physically. When it comes to life and, and, and truly stepping into your best self, you have to begin to look for that way of being in a particular way, right? And more so than just look, but you also have to become it. But realize where your focus is. If I'm focused on winning, what do I mean by winning? Meaning that I have a goal in mind. And damn it, I'm going to reach that goal in some way, shape, or form. I'm going to know when I'm there. Right? And it doesn't mean you stop when you get to your goal. You know, obviously, you keep growing. It's a constant. But either way, when I have that in mind, that's what I have to be looking for. And everything that I look for has to be geared towards that. That particular goal. That, that win that, that, that thing that, that is driving me. I have to be looking for that. Now, when it comes to the subconscious mind, I'm a hypnotherapist and I work with many clients and what I have found that many clients want something. Many clients think that they're looking for something, but where the disconnect happens is while they consciously want something, subconsciously, they're looking for the opposite. They might want a incredible relationship, right? Or relationships, whatever, with the opposite sex, say it. And they want that. But subconsciously, they're looking for the opposite and they're looking for the hurt. They're looking for uh, shit to go wrong. They're looking for the rejection, right? And if you're subconsciously looking for that, you will find it. It doesn't mean that if you're consciously looking for, you know, uh, uh, that strong list, it doesn't mean some people, you know, aren't going to mesh. But you won't waste your time. And it won't hurt you. You won't be stuck because you'll be flowing through life. It's a dance. And you interact with certain people. And some people will dance with you for a lifetime. And some you may dance with for but a moment. But it doesn't mean that dance wasn't... Uh, wasn't fun for the time being or, or wasn't meaningful for that moment. Many moments can be very meaningful. Some last for quite a while and some don't. You appreciate it for what it is, but <laughs> that's kind of a different talk and a different thought. Either way, how the mind <clears throat> can have a disconnect how consciously we know we want something we look for it but subconsciously we might be honestly looking for the opposite that's why they say don't think about what you don't want think about what it is that you do want. And, and that's where hypnotherapy gnosis hypnosis uh, as I call it, um, my uh, particular style my personal style is very important because you deep into the subconscious mind to begin to make shifts. Shifts happen if you allow it. And imagine right now, imagine if with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind, the conscious or the subconscious, that you fully, truly allowed yourself to focus 
on the positive result that you would like. And most importantly, focus and feel what having that thing or accomplishing that task or being in that moment would feel like. Feel it. Just allow yourself to do that because you can. It's up to you. That is an incredibly important part of the process. And there's a lot of baggage, a lot of trash that we have collected. And a big part of us really being free to live this life in a way where we're not held back and held down by all the baggage, not slowed down by all that trash, is by letting go, understanding, one, what the trash is, right? You, uh, you, if you've ever seen the show Hoarders, a lot of times the hoarders don't look at the trash like it's trash. Sure, from the outside, we see it and we think, oh my God, this is a bunch of trash. But for them, they've collected it and they take it with them or hold on to it, right? And we do a lot of that um, with certain memories and certain feelings. We hoard it and we don't necessarily see it as trash in those moments until deep reflection going through this type of process, you begin to see where the trash is. And just like with the hoarder, sometimes it can be a little hard to, to see it, but when you see it, it's powerful. And you know what to let go. And you know what to strengthen. And you know what to look for. And you look for it with a new pair of eyes. 2020 vision. Here. Here. And here. And when you look for what it is that you desire, what, you're, what, you, what you want in life, and then you look for it with a clear heart, a clear mind, a clear spirit. It doesn't mean we'll be perfect. We're always growing. But when, but when you do the best you can, and you allow the growth to happen, allow the change, well, we begin to find what it is that we're looking for. And sometimes when we find it, it may seem a little different than what we had previously thought, but it doesn't mean we won't find it. <laughs> what you look for, truly, you shall find. All right, y'all. That kind of free flow thought. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you found that enjoyable. At the very uh, least entertaining, at the most enlightening. These videos are meant to touch as many people as possible. So if you like these videos, like them, share them, subscribe to this page. Um, yeah, I'm Kyle Michael. If you have any questions on Gnosis Hypnosis, you can email me at lukes at luxafarian.com. I have my Minute of Motivation uh, series that I spoke about in the beginning. That's on Instagram, and that's at Luxafarian. And um, Kyle Michael Dory, easy to find, Facebook. Uh, I also uh, run a Facebook group called Leaders of Light, which is um, a very powerful group. Uh, either way, until next time, live life. Love life.